Hey, my name is Russell Brunson. I'm the author of this brand new book called Traffic Secrets, and uh, I really want you to get a copy of it, but I'm not gonna bribe you right now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you one of the secrets. There are 20 different traffic secrets in here, and I wanna read you one of them, and hopefully if you like it, you'll decide to go grab a copy of the book. So, with that said, um, I'm gonna show you guys a video clip of me. I actually read secret number two in front of a live audience with almost a 1,000 people in the room, and uh, they really liked it. So hopefully you like it as well. So I'm gonna queue up that video right now, and when we come back, I'll show you how to get the other 19 secrets inside this book for free uh, when we come back from this live reading. Um, so I wanna read you guys just one section of this book that, t- that ties us into step number two, okay? Which step number two is, is where are these people congregating? And in the book, it's actually secret number two. So I'm actually really nervous about this because nobody else has read this book yet and it may suck. So I apologize in advance if you're really bored, but it should be awesome because I spent a ton of time on it. I'm really excited. Okay, so where are they hiding? I knew I was supposed to be doing homework, but my ADHD mind couldn't take it anymore. I had to stop writing, even if it was just for a few minutes. I looked around to make sure no one else was looking, and then I opened up a new tab on my browser. I started typing in www.themat.com, and then within seconds, I was taken to a whole new universe, a universe occupied by hundreds of thousands of wrestlers just like me all around the world. This was our playground where we could talk about wrestling, post pictures and videos, and debate about who was going to win every match happening in the next big tournament. I read a few articles and then watched a video showing a new way to finish a single leg takedown. Afterwards, I went to the forums. Oh, how I love the forums. Who's better, Dan Gable in his prime or Kel Sanderson now? Someone just posted. Of course, I had an opinion. It took everything I had to not spend the next 90 minutes writing my thoughtful response about how if we shrunk Kel down to Dan's size and took him into a time machine back to the 70s, Kel would have destroyed Dan head to head. But I knew that I couldn't. My paper was due the next day and I was locked away in study hall until it was done. Angrily, I closed down the tab and sat back in my chair to stretch before I, uh, I started the trip back to reality. As I was leaning back, I started looking at, my, at the other college wrestler friends who were locked away in study hall with me because of our bad grades. As I glanced towards our 133 pounder, I noticed a smile on his face. What, I thought? How could he be smiling in study hall? Confused, I tried to see what he was working on. As I shifted my gaze from his face to his monitor, I saw it. He was also on the mat.com and he was writing his comments on why he thought Dan would actually be Kale. Then, looking at the other wrestlers in the room, I decided I had to know what they were doing. Faking that I had to go to the bathroom, I stood up and I started to walk past their desks. As I looked at 157 pounder screen, yep, he was looking at the mat.com too. 178 pounder, the mat.com. But what about our heavyweight? I asked myself, he had to be actually doing his homework, right? Nope, he was also on the mat.com. And as I passed his computer on the way to the bathroom, I quickly read his form reply that Bruce Baumgartner, a two time Olympic heavyweight champ and four time Olympic gold medalist, would beat both Dan and Kale at the same time. What? Are you crazy? There's no way that Kale would lose to Bruce. And that's when it hit me. At that time, the mat.com was our little corner of the internet. All of the wrestlers with me in study hall were congregated together on that website talking about wrestling. But we weren't the only ones. Wrestlers in other colleges all across the country, along with high school wrestlers and their parents, were also on that website too. All around the world, hundreds of thousands of people were all congregating together in this one spot to talk about that topic that we love the most, wrestling. Honestly, that's the, power, that's the real power of the internet. It allows us to connect like-minded people together in a way that wasn't possible before. It allows each of us with our own unique and sometimes weird hobbies and interests to congregate together with our people to discuss the things that mean the most to us. It wasn't always like that though. When I was in high school, we didn't have the mat.com. So the only people we had to talk about wrestling were the, a few other dozen wrestlers in our school. We weren't the only group though. High school was full of different groups like basketball players, weightlifters, jocks, band members, and kids who played Magic the Gathering. Before the internet, each of these little groups had, uh, was limited to the size of how many people they could find to have the same interests that were located geographically around them. Pre-internet, it was expensive for a marketer to sell products and services to each of these small groups. After all, how do you target, all, how do you target just those people in each city who are interested in what you have to sell? If you have a huge mass market product like shampoo or painkillers, you can run ads on TV and know that mostly everyone who saw your ads probably had hair or got headaches sometimes, but it was way too expensive to run ads for wrestling shoes or training DVDs and pray that the dozens of wrestlers in each city would actually see the ad. But the internet changed everything. It took the dozens of wrestlers from my high school and every other high school around the world and congregated them together in one spot, one place to target all of the wrestlers in the world. If wrestlers were my dream customers and I had a product to sell them, I didn't have to run a huge mass media campaign. Instead, I could go directly to the mat.com or wherever they were congregating and just buy ads there, knowing that 100% of the people who actually saw my ads were wrestlers, instead of wasting money showing my ads to millions of people who didn't want or didn't need my product. I'm able to make sure that the only that only my dream customers ever saw what I'm selling. 
This targeting has cut ad costs for people like us down to a tiny fraction of what people used to have to spend to get access to their dream customers. This is what has made it possible for smaller businesses like ours to compete against the off, and oftentimes even dominate the bigger brands. The same principle is true no matter who your dream customer is. Those people are already congregating together online. The internet has made it so that when you find those existing congregations of your dream customers, it's literally like shooting fish in a barrel. You simply have to find the barrel of fish with your dream customers, throw your hooks in, and if your hook is good, it'll pull people out of your barrel and into your funnels. Woo! <laughs> All right, hope you like secret number two. Hopefully I got you excited and got the wheels in your head spinning about ways you can get more traffic into your websites and your funnels. Now, if you want all of the other secrets inside this book, there's over 20 traffic secrets inside of here. You can get for free right now by going to trafficsecrets.com and get a free copy of the hardbound copy of this book, uh, which is really exciting. We already paid uh, for the, the printing cost. You just gotta cover the shipping handling and let me know where to ship your copy and I'll send you one right away in the mail. This book will help you get more traffic to your websites, to your funnels. If you wanna grow your Instagram following, have more followers on YouTube, whatever it is, you're trying to do and get more eyeballs on whatever your message is, um, this book will help you get more of that. All you gotta do right now is go to trafficsecrets.com to get your free copy, or I'm sure there'll be a link down below that you can click on as well. And I hope you love this. Just let me know where to ship your copy out right now. Thanks so much.